Hello everyone, and welcome back once again to the Red Fox Delta channel. Are you a fucking idiot? <laughs> Please forgive me for asking. If that seemed rude, I didn't mean to come off that way. Lately, I've had something stuck on my mind, and it's picking away constantly with its 9-inch nails. Dying Light, as I mentioned in my favorite trailers video, was a hoot. Beyond a hoot, the game is full of hoots and hollers. It's such a huge, open, fun-filled world to dive into at any time. The physics, the environment, the combat, the story, the voice acting, the graphics, everything inside of it feels organic and still looks fantastic to this day. Of course, not everyone was a huge fan of Dying Light, considering it was brand new at the time, and if you're like me, you'd know that a lot of hype kills games. When the sequel was announced, I can't necessarily say I was surprised with the overwhelming success the first game had with players, and I was personally excited to see how they would continue the story of the Haran viral outbreak. Maybe reintroduce old characters from before, throw in a couple of shady characters that make you question who you should trust and what choice you should make. Then it happened. The night before Dying Light 2 was sent to launch, I pre-ordered it last minute. Come to think of it, I don't remember there being any big deal from anyone the day it dropped. Dying Light 2 was a very strange launch with all sorts of bugs, frame rate issues, combat glitches, parkour glitches, just a bunch of shit that you shouldn't have to expect for a brand new game. While I definitely enjoyed my time during Dying Light 2, I still couldn't get behind its lame story and lame premise. You play as Aiden, who is infected. Oh my god, are you fucking kidding me? We have to play as yet another Kyle Crane. Sadly, the voice actor for Kyle Crane was Roger Craig Smith, and I don't think their best interest was to ask him to come back for a second role. However, the guy who voices Aiden might as well be Kyle Crane. They act, talk, move, and communicate with much of the same style and sound. Is that Crane? It sounds eerily similar to Kyle Crane, but it is in fact not the same voice actor. Don't ask me why they got a guy who sounds exactly like, um, Roger Craig Smith. These side quests seem pointless anyway. What am I even doing? I'm finding a drink for this guy? I know I have no chance, but to be defeated by you would be an honor. What the fuck kind of humanitarian outfit are you guys? And for that matter, if this project file can save the world, why keep it a fucking secret? It's like they were trying to make a second crane, but then kind of gave up halfway through copying the other person's homework. I'm not saying Aiden is a bad character, but it's hard to attach yourself to him when he doesn't really seem all that relatable. The dialogue is also a huge piss off, at least from what I've experienced. The voice actors come off as if they're tired, not really giving it their all at certain moments. Literally so predictable. <laughs> you, you, you got them pretty good. Huh? And we, we got them good. Without you, the windmill would still be standing. Almost like the fireworks in 90, um, 90, uh, <laughs> Even... Ah, oh, man. I'm old. There's nobody here that you're gonna remember, not like the first game anyways. You might as well remember Aiden, I guess, because he's the only one you can remember. I lied. I also want to give some credit to Hakon, because he was pretty awesome. But it almost just makes me wish he was Kyle Crane, for Christ's sakes. Anyways, I decided to re-download the game after all this time without playing it, and out of my genuine curiosity, I discovered not much has changed. Obviously, the parkour is still pretty delayed to me. I don't know. Every time I hit spacebar, it's really hard to tell if I'm jumping or not. The animation kind of makes me feel like I just step on my tippy toes. It's embarrassing because it fucks with my jump timing ratio, and I end up missing a big jump because I either press the spacebar too early, or I press it too late. And look at how high we're jumping. It's a fucking joke. And every time you make a big jump in this game, you can't tell me that you don't lean forward in your seat a little bit. It's fucking gut-wrenching. There's still exists plenty of clunky but hilarious moments too, especially with friends, like when Brian and I were role-playing as vigilantes that we all love and know. But why don't you guys be the judge? Let us know how you feel about Dying Light 2. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Are you still liking it? Are you still fucking sick of it like I am? Regardless, if you like it, that's awesome. Keep playing it. I encourage it, because there is fun to be had. And hopefully you guys enjoy this video that Brian and I concocted this morning. Well, characters, names, places... Incidents, dialogue, I can't even read it all, man. <laughs> we can't read that fast, and the, de the developers just don't understand. Wow, Brian, you gotta get in here and look at my cocks. Oh, there he is. Hey. Hey there. Damn, you have way better clothes than I do, so that's really neat. Fucking sick-ass mask. Yeah, for some reason they made me 
go through all the like tutorials and shit again for the UI. I don't know why. How do I repair weapons? <laughs> oh yeah, that's real fucking fair. As soon as I came down that zip line, there's fucking 10 zombies waiting to punch me in the face. Your weapon is almost broke. Oh, you can't repair weapons in this game. I forgot, Brian. There's no weapon repair mechanic. You have to get rid of them. You're fucking me, right? No, I'm dead serious. I totally forgot about that. There is absolutely no weapon repair mechanic. You are forced to find new weapons at all times. Look at these fuckheads. Am I the only one, by the way, who thinks that jumping in this game is fucking ridiculous? Jesus Christ. I, I'm out here rocking fucking machetes and you have a crossbow. Oh yeah, the grappling hook. Is it any good or is it shit? Shit. It's yep. nothing compared to the one in the first game. <laughs> I didn't even hear anything. I didn't see or hear a single thing. So I'm pretty sure that that was just quiet when you launched that fucking grappling hook like Spider-Man. Hey, look at this dipshit. You can kill people in this game, can't you? Like any random person? Pretty sure you can. Let me try it. Whoa! <laughs> oh my god, I totally forgot that that was a mechanic. Oh, wait. Okay, Brian. I just saw your guy levitate for like 20 seconds while you were running with that crossbow. Like, how... How can the game look this- keep jumping, keep jumping. How can your game look this clunky? Like, that does not look like a jump. Well, now it does, but when you were moving and jumping, it looked like shit. They've literally turned it into like a Crash Bandicoot type game, where it's like, the jumping controls are all fucked now, the running is all fucked. You can't even sprint unless you unlock it as a skill, Brian. I'm not fucking around. All right. Amen. Um, as far as I know, I'm pretty sure my controls are automatically mapped to control. That's how you aim in is control? Fucking weird. Yeah, those are what mine are mapped to automatically. Why not? And my, my oh my god. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. That was some funny fucking shit. I gotta see that again. Fucking Spider-Man saving the day. <laughs> Swinging from danger. Look for a new weapon. I don't know how to throw <laughs> Just fucking swinging around all those zombies. <laughs> oh shit, I'm coming! Oh shit, we're getting we're getting fucked up. We gotta get out of here. Wait a minute, Spider-Man. Oh my god. Stay exactly how you Oh man, that was perfect. So the only redeeming quality that this game has, realistically, in terms of gameplay, is quit. <laughs> is the fact oh i missed my jump is the fact that you can just laugh at how goofy it is because it's not designed well it's really not they had so much time and so much fucking hype go yeah let's go this is some intense shit right we got this fucking beating the challenge okay that didn't work the way i wanted it to hell yeah look at us go oh uh, oh my god okay so i just I just jump on it? I don't understand. Oh, you have to stand still and jump on it. Oh my god, how was I supposed to know that? Brian, this game is this game is broken, man. I'm convinced. Th this game is broken. I'm I'm standing in the checkpoint and it will not go off. $35 and you can't even make the game work. This is what I'm given months and months after playing this. I think so, let me double check. I'm gonna check on my phone right now. I'm almost positive that this game is $35, if not like 40. Okay, 30, it's it's 30, but still. I, okay, so I guess we're not gonna do this mission then, Bri, because I'm, I'm not doing this. Imagine if you paid fucking $60. I did pay $60. <laughs> I hope you don't mind, I'm, I'm just eating my meat sticks down here. <laughs> Spider-Man, Spider-Man. Oh look, I found them! I found the bandits! And they're not moving. I just sliced him in the fucking back and he's not reacting. Okay, that's good. Great. What is happening? What is- where did- Brian, I'm lost, man. All four of these guys are standing completely still. Okay, now they're moving. Oh shit. What the fuck is- I don't even know what's happening. <laughs> and this is fucking bullshit. The zombies are not attacking the humans. They're only attacking players. This is fucking nonsense. See, look, they're all dead now. Yeah, we did it somehow. Oh, oh, I don't, I don't know if we did it, Brian. Cause now they're, now they're fucking angry. How dare you run away from a fight? 
<laughs> oh shit, the big guy's pissed off. I'm fucking scared. Hey, you got me a free reward. Thanks, Bri. Oh, God. oh, I didn't mean to hurt you, innocent bystander. I'm just trying to get away from the fucking wrestler that's after me. Okay, so I guess we're back at a traitor. You're swinging around like Spider-Man. Uh, Spider-Man's got some new tricks up his sleeve. I wish I had a fucking grappling hook. I want to swing some fucking bitches around. Oh, no fucking way. You can Fortnite it? That's sick. Hiya! <laughs> oh my god. Give me another. Where'd you come? Get off of me, get off of me. Fucking scumbag. Hiya! Oh, I missed. Oh, shit. That was pretty dope. Holy shit. How did you do that? Do it again. Do it again. Come on. That's fucking funny. Oh! <laughs> NASA should be. Good gun. <laughs> This, I changed my mind. This game is perfection. Now that I'm out of stamina, let me heal you. Oh, oh, thank you. We got plenty of fucking ropes to Spider-Man. Tell me Spider-Man runs out. He did in the- Yeah, I, I was just gonna say, but that's because- Why you go fuck yourself? That's because- Okay, hold on a second. That's because he didn't believe in himself. That's the only reason why his web shooters didn't work, because he didn't believe they would work. Time Sophie grew into the woman her mother was. What did you just say? Get out of my way, you fucking asshole. I can't get past this wall, thank you. Jesus. I got past the wall. Well, hey, we all can't be fucking Spider-Man, right? See, like, I wish I could say that even the exploration was as fun. I don't think I'm even in your game anymore. Are you shitting me? Oh yeah, I don't think you are either. What the fuck, I- What? <laughs> Wait, are you an enemy or are you a friend? I don't understand. It said someone was about to spot me. I thought it was him. Oh man. Oh, so much more playable. Jesus, I've been playing the wrong way this whole time. How the fuck do I get in this house? Every fucking side mission is a, is a puzzle. They're like, oh, we don't want you to just waltz right in. You gotta find your way into the house, you fucking dolt. Well, how does... Oh... Why couldn't I lockpick the other door? I don't understand this game. It like forced me to check both doors just to come back to the first door and lockpick it. I'm really not, tr I was not expecting to get this frustrated coming back into the game. I thought it would be so much more ironed out at this point. I am hugely disappointed. I am immensely disappointed in the Dying Light devs. They took a huge L with this one. There's Hakon. Bing. Back then everyone, Alberto? Heavy fertilizer. Okay, there goes all that dialogue that I definitely wasn't trying to listen to. That's kind of awkward and unappreciated. I really hate that this character is trying to describe the fucking doctor to me as if I, I don't already know he's the most annoying character in the game. May you be the hero of the bazaar after this one. He always wanted to do something big. I'm gonna assume that the doctor dies because all his son is talking about is how great his father is and how skilled he is and how fucking talented he is. So I have a feeling that he's just gonna die. Oh my god, you scared the shit out of me. Oh, we have to wait. We have to wait till they're finished talking. Okay, I'll see you later. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna teleport you, mister. <laughs> his character is useless. He does... And this is a normal human way to fall asleep. Like, you naturally fall asleep standing up, arms crossed and everything. No. I mean, not with my arms that, that relaxed. Like, if I'm falling asleep standing up, I, did you just get booted from the game again? Tell everyone we pulled this off thanks to Vincenzo. Well, somebody better be dying. So there you have it, folks. My experience with Dying Light 2 in 2023. I'm not saying it's the worst game ever made, not by a long shot. It has, or should I say had, a lot of potential. Sure, they give away free updates and add all sorts of community challenges for everyone at no extra cost, but it feels like too little. Kinda like baking someone a pie made of cow piss and coating it in icing. Might not look so bad, but trust me, it'll frustrate you when you find out the truth. Thanks again for watching, everybody. Thank you to everyone who has subscribed to our channel, and thanks for checking out this video. Leave a like, comment, and since we're on the subject, enjoy your yourself. Thanks for watching the content, folks.